What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and this is the Nebula Cosmos Max. Now what's really cool about this Nebula Cosmos Max 4K projector is that it has Chromecast with Google TV built in. In the back, it shows you a brief description of all the features. It has 1500 looms, which is great. Anything over a thousand looms, then it's really bright. And the LED lamp, last 30,000 hours. This also has built-in HDR, which gives you a very vibrant colors. It has auto focus and auto keystone. So the only thing you have to do is set it up and it will adjust by itself. It has a feature called dynamic smoothing, which is great for watching sports and gaming. Now, if you mount the projector 15 feet away from the screen, you can adjust for a 75 inch image up to 150 inch image using the zoom feature. Also, since it has built-in Chromecast, of course, you can share images and videos from your phone onto the screen. It has two HDMI ports and two USB ports, optical. It supports audio return channel from the HDMI port to your surround sound and also HDMI control. There's two different versions of the Cosmos projector. One is 1080p that goes for $800 and the other is 4K and that goes for around $1,700. Both of them are very high quality and they have four and a half star reviews on Amazon. Check out the link in the video description below. If you have attic space, I highly suggest getting a ceiling mount for your projector because then you can run all the cables in your attic and drop it down the wall to where your surround sound is. Now right here, I'm using a wall scanner attached to my Android phone. It's called the Wallabot and it scans the wall for studs and I'm going to mark where the studs are so I know where to mount my screen and projector ceiling mount. Now after marking the spots where you found the studs, you want to go ahead and use screws and mount the ceiling mount. It is very secure once you install the screws into the studs. As you can see, I can hang off of it. I'm about 150 pounds and it holds me no problem. safe next you want to install the bracket on the projector which is really great about this universal ceiling mount it fits pretty much any projector that has mounting holes it's fully adjustable and has all the screws that you're going to need different sizes and only thing you do is adjust it so it fits over each hole on the projector and make sure you use a low torque drill <laughs> Now once you mount the bracket on the projector, you want to go ahead and mount it to the ceiling mount. There's two screws. It does come with an Allen key so you can adjust all the screws on the ceiling mount. And you want to make sure the projector is lined up center with the screen before you go ahead and tighten everything down. Right here I'm adjusting the height. Now later on I did take it back down because I decided to run the HDMI cable in the pipe. Now right here, I installed the AC outlet and I'm running the HDMI cable down the pipe and connecting it to the projector. This is what it looks like. Now I'm using my son to help me with the projector screen and these hooks are in the studs so it's really secure. Even though this projector has four 10 watt speakers which sound pretty good, you can connect a Bluetooth speaker to this projector, like a soundbar, to make the sound even better. That looks incredible. The 1500 looms really does a great job. You get, look at this, I have all the lights on and you still see an image on the screen. I tell you, this is the only projector I ever had that actually the sound sounds better than the TV and the image is better than my HD TV, which is pretty impressive. And it brings up this menu and then click on projector settings. Now I can increase the brightness, but when I do that, some things may get washed out. So I think 55 is perfect. And the color temperature, I have mine set to normal. Uh, you can actually project it on a white wall if you choose to, but I choose not to. And this I have not tested out, but I did not know that this was a 3D projector. I knew I had 3D 
Dolby Surround, like 3D sound, but not 3D video, which is pretty interesting. So I gotta test that out later, get some glasses, I guess. I wonder if you use passive glasses or active 3D glasses, who knows? All right, so auto keystone, which is pretty cool, right? But you can adjust it manually if you want to, but look how quick it works. Look, I'm gonna turn on auto, look how fast it works. Boom, instant. Like the processor in this must be pretty good. And then look how big it gets, like really huge look at that one uh, like 150 inch screen fills up the whole wall or you can shrink it down look at that so <laughs> you can mount it in the back of your room and you could adjust it for pretty much any size really here's my autofocus right there it works super quick really great setup it just plug and play setup and when I mounted it upside down, because right now the projector is upside down, and when I mounted it upside down on my ceiling, it knew right away. As soon as I plugged it in, it actually flipped the image automatically, adjusted the focus automatically, and adjusted the keystone automatically. Like for an installer, this is a dream projector. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you know anyone that's looking to get a new TV or a new projector, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. Help someone out. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks guys for watching.